The front-end design of the BJ40 is somewhat similar to the Jeep model. Although the new model is somewhat similar to the old model, it has changed a lot, because it not only has a horizontal and vertical interactive grille, but also a penetrating light strip. The degree and high-end feeling will be much better. On the side of the body, this car is still in the shape of a square box, and the yellow wheel support is still very noticeable and solid. As for the rear of the design, the shape of the taillight is relatively thin, and the vertical processing shows a very good visual effect. As for the body size, the length, width and height of this car are 4790-1940-1895, 1929, mm, respectively, and the wheelbase is 2760 mm. The interior of the car has been greatly upgraded. The old model uses a floating screen as the main design effect. The current model is unexpected, powered by three LCD screens, and even the co-pilot area has a pretty decent-sized LCD, which feels like an ideal series. And what I like most about the interior of this car is that there are some more practical physical buttons so we can perform some basic controls more comfortably while driving, which is really good. According to different models, this car can be equipped with panoramic sunroof, decorative side window frame, special traction device, side view camera, etc. and the total mass of the semi-trailer, 750 kg without brakes, with brakes travel 2,500 kg. Is. Also available is trailer power input, tow hook mounting bracket assembly. In terms of power, this car is based on Honeycomb Chuang Technology Company, Limited. The HY4C20C model manufactured by AS with a maximum power of 172 kW is equipped with a 2.0T engine. In terms of transmission it still matches ZF's 8 at transmission. This brand new Beijing BJ40 is really not inferior to the Tank 300 in terms of off-road capability. The three large LCD screens are truly amazing if you look at its interior, so we believe the new Beijing BJ40 will certainly attract attention.